Hi, I'm Josh Boki. I play Scott Smith on Orphan Black. Hi, my name is Joel Thomas Hines. I play the role of Dizzy. And you're watching a talk of the clones. All right, Joel, how much did you know about your character Dizzy when you auditioned for the part? Um, I knew he was dead handsome mm -hmm. and brilliant. Of course. And that's pretty much all I knew. Yeah. So I just rolled with it. Well, I what else do you need? Yeah, I just knew I had it. Yeah. MK and Dizzy seem close. Mm -hmm. As one of the few people who knows how to reach her, why do you think he knows so little else about her? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, I think the writers went on lunch break. Ah, is that what you think? Yeah. <laughs> For a little while. Yeah, for a bit. They decided they'd pick it up maybe in a later episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dizzy's well versed in the whole body modification scene. Okay. Is he? What, yeah. <laughs> what advice would you share with first time body modders who might be a little nervous about that initial goat horn implant? I don't, I don't get that at all. <laughs> I was going to show, I do have some. some uh, body mods going on myself. Yeah, you but, got magnetic nipples, but, is that what you're about to show? They were talking about the implant. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what kind of advice you would give someone who was about to go down that path. Maybe take a painkiller. Well, yeah, maybe make better life choices. I prefer to do those sorts of things without painkillers myself. Oh, all right. Hard. A guy likes, I'm gonna do these as naturally as possible. Yeah, that's yeah. you. There's speculation out there now, Scott, that, mm -hmm. um, wait, now your name in real life is Josh. Yes. Your name on the show is Scott. Yes, that's correct. So there's speculation, Josh, that Scott is kind of in love with Cosima. Mm -hmm. What do you got to say about that, man? He's not in love with Not her. in love with not her. Not in love with okay. her at all. It's Next question. Too. A guy like Scott seems like he'd be a little averse to uh, the kind of danger that goes along with investigating a cloning conspiracy. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's never hesitated to get involved. Why is he so fearless? He's frightened. He's always pretty scared. I don't think he's ever really hiding that, but his, his curiosity to, you know, to be on the cutting edge of the most advanced science the planet's known is <laughs> outweighing, <laughs> outweighing his, uh, his I think fear. it's in my pocket. Hold yeah. on. It's called an iPhone. Oh, yeah? God. <laughs> Can you tell us if Denise, the cat. Yeah, I'm waiting for that. Um, comes back from the dead after the next episode. Comes back from the dead? When did the cat die? Oh shit, I is that a spoiler? The no, cat dies. The cat is not dead. The cat dies you in the next episode. You can't kill animals on TV. Oh, you totally can. I, <laughs> I killed a cat one time on, on TV. Yeah, yeah, well that's you. Yeah. yeah. Could beards be considered a mild form of body modification or are they just a gateway to it? Uh, I would never know whether it's a gateway to have a beard because I haven't been able to grow facial hair my whole life. Your whole life? No, oh. no, dude. Mine was all uh, Dizzy's beard with makeup. Yeah? Yeah, I just patched it on. We should point out we're both Newfoundland boys. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to home. Home. Yes, very complicated word for some. Yeah. But that's where we're from. Yeah, East Coast. <laughs> <laughs>